Movies are like gadgets. Some are more popular than others. But our ever-dwindling attention span makes sitting through the whole show a bit too much like hard work. As ever, technology promises a clever, if strange, solution to the problem of our impatience. I'm about to watch a film where I'm going to be influencing it. Not consciously, not pressing any buttons, but letting my body control the action. Now, last time I went to the cinema, I wasn't wired up to the storyline. Sensors will monitor bodily changes in three volunteers and me. We're measured for different readings, heart rate, brain waves, muscle tension and perspiration. This experiment combines our physical responses to the movie to determine which scene plays next. Before the movie starts, we're calibrated for a baseline measurement so the computer can detect what's normal for us. On to the main feature, the film Many Worlds, the story of students who walk into uncertain or certain death, depending on the ending. It's based loosely on physicist Schrodinger's theoretical experiment about a cat in a box. It has four different conclusions, which one we see will be decided by our vital signs. Hi, the wardrobe, where are you? Readings are taken at four points during the story. There's a modest amount of peril, impressive as it's clearly made on an academic budget as opposed to a Hollywood one. But unlike Hollywood, if tensions run a bit too high, the programme picks out a more relaxing scene. Now, we were either a tense bunch or the calibration didn't quite take into account our discomfort at being wired up in front of other people. Consequently, our version of the film was quite tame. This was evident when we saw all possible endings simultaneously after the first viewing. If this catches on, actors might have to work up to four times harder for their moment in the spotlight. It did feel very much out of my hands, but at the same time that kind of felt right yeah, yeah. as well. It was, it was a weird experience watching it, but, uh, particularly because that was the first time we, we've seen it as well, <laughs> seen anything. Even, yeah. you know, a, a, a snippet. Yeah, which they was didn't odd. even let us watch it, watch it back during filming. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. So you prepare for every eventuality, but you don't know which one it's going to be. Yeah. But perhaps the programming is the star of the show. Visual software called Max MSP analyzes the audience data. The program is commonly used in musical and multimedia applications. Basically, you're looking at a giant flowchart which plays a pre selected media clip once a set of conditions are met. But in a way, we are not directly controlling the actions. Our physical signs are simply triggering off a next set of scenes. And to an extent, that's been decided by a human. The actual selection of how to use that data was um, really was an artistic decision. It was a case of I had to make a judgment based on the film which areas of the film should be shown depending on what the data was picking up if the heart rate was low or high which of the or, or I should say if the, the totality of all the data being analyzed if it showed high arousal or low arousal okay it's hardly practical to connect your entire audience to a computer for a start it makes a discreet trip to the bathroom pretty much impossible so it's unlikely this equipment will hit your local cinema anytime soon but Hollywood is interested in the idea See, before a film is released, movie execs run test screenings on audiences or focus groups. Usually, they're run by humans, not machines. But collecting physical data by computer would certainly be more efficient and possibly more revealing. One big player and one medium player have contacted me. Um, and I do think there is, there is a future for this stuff. Focus groups are used for a reason. In mass media, you're releasing stuff to so many people. And once it's out there, it's out there. There's nothing you can do. And so trying to test it and work out how an audience reacts, it's a sensible thing to do to a degree. Um, but what happens if, once you've released it out there, you can change it, maybe just in subtle ways. You only need to make subtle changes to make big emotional differences. Like every business, show business is always on the lookout for that competitive edge. But the best movie directors know how to generate and manipulate the human condition, perhaps because they are human. So, letting machines determine the outcome of something as emotional as a feature film could leave us cold, at least until someone's written the right programme.